let me be clear. I am not saying that anyone who voted for the Conservatives are racist, scummy and homophobic. I'm saying the Prime Minister... So do you just want to... Let, let's no, just no. steal it. Why don't you just apologise to the conser those I who voted Conservative and Ashton on the line? And by the way, the millions who voted Conservative in those red wall seats. Sure. I'm saying, and I'm very clear, I'm not saying anybody who voted Conservative are those things. I'm saying the Prime Minister has said those things and has acted in that way. And if the Prime Minister wants to apologise and remove himself from those comments that he's made that are homophobic, oh, that on. are racist, come on. Come on. that are misogynistic, come on. Come on. then I will apologise for calling him scummy. Oh, come on, come on. No, I'm, I'm, I'm very you serious. Just deal with it. You could just no, no, deal I'm with it very, very serious, simply Trevor. by saying I'm sorry Trevor, about this. Trevor, honestly, I'm really serious about this because I, I feel really passionate about the fact that when you've got a Prime Minister of the country that thinks it's OK to use the language that he's used, then that is appalling. He hasn't that is called appalling. you or Keir, Sc Keir Starmer scum. Listen, you called him I'm, I'm scum. Very, is, that, is that the civility because, that we're talking about now? Because I've said that I'm very clear that if the Prime Minister wants to remove himself from those comments, I'm quite happy to apologise for calling him scum. All right. If he but, wants to remove himself from those comments, the racist, misogynistic, homophobic comments that he's made, very they're all documented, very offensive comments, then I will apologise to him personally for calling him scum. If okay. he wants to say that he apologises and doesn't mean the comments that he's made in the past, uh, I'll happily do that. OK, I'm sure he's watching and he'll drop you a line. Let's talk about policy.